Sons and Daughters of God, Daily Devotional by Alan G. White. Joseph chose life's best, Samson did not. June 29th. We choose the best in life. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of flesh reap corruption, but he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Galatians chapter 6 verse 8. Few temptations are more dangerous or more fatal to young men than the temptation to sensuality, and none, if yielded to the will, prove more decidedly ruinous to the soul and body for a time and eternity. The welfare of his entire future is suspended upon the decision of a moment. Joseph calmly cast his eyes to heaven for help, slipped off his loose outer garment, leaving it in the hands of his tempter, and while his eye is lit with determined resolve in the place of the whole of unholy passion, he exclaimed, How can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? The victory is granted, he flees from the enchanter, he is saved. Samson, in his peril, had the same source of strength as Joseph. He could choose the right or the wrong as he pleased, but instead of taking hold of the strength of God, he permitted the wild passions of his nature to have full sway. Reasoning power was perverted, the moral corrupted. God had called Samson to a position of great responsibility, honor and usefulness, but he must first learn to govern by first learning to obey the laws of God. Samson, under temptation, which he had brought upon himself, gave loose rein to passion. The path which he entered upon, he found to end in shame and disaster and death. What a contrast to the history of Joseph. Amid the snares to which all are exposed, they need strong, trustworthy defences on which to rely. The shield of grace can preserve all unconquered by the temptation of the enemy, though surrounded with most corrupting influences. By firm principle and unswerving trust in God, their virtue and nobility, nobleness of character can shine. And although surrounded with evil, no taint can be left upon the virtue and integrity. <clears throat> this is your daily devotion. We thank you for listening. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Please also check the YouTube comments for any further study notes. Sons and Daughters of God, 